beer tubers. Welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits. Sitting out. Uh, it's evening time now. It's around six o'clock, and I thought I wanted a beer just before dinner. Um, yeah, the sun is about to set, and it's been a really nice day today. Really nice fall day. The weather has been quite nice. Today's beer is going to be a uh, another American beer. It's going to be from California. It's going to be the Green Flash Triple Ale. Uh, it is a triple, Belgian style triple, just with a west coast twist. Uh, says here, modern all malt, triple and dry hopped, and bottle conditioned. Uh, it's 1.6 fluid ounces, or 66 centiliters, and it's a 9.7% alcohol. Pretty cool label on here. Uh, gonna be using the Huldendrak Tulip, and I got some info here from the brewery's website. Rich pale malt flavors provide a solid base for a zesty styrian golding and Czech sass hopping. Travis ale yeast contribu contributes the fruity, spicy profile of classic monk brewed Belgian ales. Our triple is luscious, fiery, golden brew and a contemporary rend rendition of traditional Belgian triples. So let's get this cracked open. I'm quite excited about it since all other Green Flash beers I've had has been really, really good. Their uh, uh, Imperial IPA, India Pale Ale, is fantastic. Yeah, that smells pretty sexy actually for a triple. Just standard Green Flash Brewing cap. Let's get it poured here. Okay. It's, uh, it's been a while since I have had um, an American styled. Belgian ale. I've had those Canadian ones, the Unibrew. Uh, but been a while since I've had an American interpretation, and it's not always they're as good as the Belgians, but sometimes they are. Now it's a hazy orange color, sort of looks like an IPA or a double IPA, and the head, two fingers, off white, sort of looking like a traditional triple, and it's slightly ha hazy as well. But let's check out the aroma. It smells really, really sweet and sugary. It smells like I also get some alcohol and then like maybe like apple, some yeast. Not much spice though. Not really. It smells rather fruity, but also some citrus. And then maybe just a slight amount of spice, but it's not, not much at all. But let's give this beer uh, this triple a taste. Whoa, that is bready and caramelly. Really bready and really caramelly. Um, it's rather alcoholic tasting for... Uh, uh, I would have imagined it would have been much better, but it still the alcohol harmonizes great with the rest of the beer. The body is a medium to full body with a slightly dry mouthfeel, yet it's quite smooth. Um, yeah, you get that alcoholic flavor along with like very bready and sweet malts. It's very bready and then some like sweet, really sweet malts along with some caramel. There is maybe a faint apple in here as well. Some spice. Not much spice at all. It's rather faint the spice, but it's it's a quite nice tasting. Yeah, um, the citrus was more in the aroma. I do get a, a little bit of citrus in the flavor, but the flavor I mostly get is apple. Maybe even a slight, just a slight amount of like banana notes. Though it's not much, yeah. This, this, the spice is sort of more there now when I got some more yeast in here. But it's still the spice is like a peppery spice, but it's it is quite faint. Um, this is really like your traditional Belgian triple. Um, I've had way better triples than this, though this is still a a pretty good triple. Uh, and it's definitely worth giving a go if you can get it. But uh, yeah, rating wise for the Green Flash Triple. It's getting an 80. Um, I think it's a pretty good triple. It's way more caramelly than other triples and it doesn't have like uh, as much spice as, as much spice 
a fruity notes as some triples do. This is more bready and caramelly. And then uh, also some, like, not only triples, but also some Belgian strong ales have like almost a champagne quality that are extremely dry. This isn't and doesn't really have like that champagne quality or white wine as well, but it's still good. So yeah, and uh, an 80 for the Green Flash Brewing Company's triple. Pretty good triple, definitely worth checking out, but uh, not Green Flash's best beer. Their Imperial IPA is fantastic, so be sure to check that one out if you can. <sighs> a lot of carbonation in here, by the way, as well. And that's it for this beer, you guys. Comment on the video, let me know what you think. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I'm gonna say cheers, guys. And I'll see you in another beer review.